Guys, we need Enneagram 8s in the world. They're strong and protective and life would just not be the same without them. In this video, I'm gonna give you some tips and tools for loving the Enneagram 8 in your life. And I just wanna note there are some lighting and location changes due to technical difficulties and leaf blowers, which are, it's a different day, but they're out there right now and it's, it's a little loud. Um, so I apologize, but I still think that the content is valuable and still relevant. My hope is that you come out of this video with 10 practical tools to help you strengthen your relationship with your challenger. Also, I'm Abby Howe, and I'm here to help you discover you. For more videos all about the Enneagram and personality types, make sure to subscribe to this channel for new videos every week. Now let's look at the top 10 ways to love an Enneagram type eight, starting with number 10. I'm in a Facebook group for Enneagram eights, and in the group, an Enneagram type nine shared how she specifically loves on her Enneagram type eight husband. So basically her husband said that the garbage disposal was broken and that he needed to call a plumber later. And she said that as a nine, she was like, oh, okay. The, her normal response was like, okay, well, the garbage disposal's broken. Uh, that's too bad. And then go on with her day. But then she remembered how type eights love when their partners help and get stuff done for them. So she watched a couple of YouTube videos, learned how to fix a garbage disposal, and she fixed it. And guess what? Her type eight husband was thrilled. I thought this was a great real life example of how to love on your type eight by getting stuff done for them. Number nine, the core fear of an Enneagram type eight is to be manipulated, controlled, or weak. This means that in relationships, they often cover up their weaknesses so nothing can be used against them. But intimacy can be really hard when one partner is hiding big parts of themselves. Eights can miss out on the joy and support of being open with their loved one. Ultimately, this is something that an eight needs to work on internally, but for you as a partner, it's really helpful to be aware of this so that when you do learn about their weaknesses or they are open with you, you don't use them again, don't use those weaknesses against them in a fight because that's just gonna push them back and make them more controlled and more shut down about being open and vulnerable with you. Number eight. Type eights value strength and they use their intensity to plow a path for their partners when they need it. However, if you've always had to be the strong person in the relationship, you know how exhausting that can be. Sometimes the eight needs you to stand up for yourself and for them and this will help build up trust between you. Number seven. Many eights I've talked to have mentioned that they hate being told how they should be feeling. This is actually a form of gaslighting, which will make an eight feel like you don't actually care how they really feel. Instead, ask your eight what they're thinking and how they're feeling. They're gonna tell you. Number six, eights hate being betrayed. And I know that the word betrayed is super dramatic, but there can be little tiny betrayals in everyday life. For example, if you say one thing and then you do another and then you try to justify it, you're betraying your word. So practice what you preach. When you say something is of value to you, stick to it. Do your best to live by the mantra, my word is my bond. Your eight is gonna thank you for it. Number five, learn all you can about the Enneagram types. A hot tip, Subscribe to this channel for new videos every week. You can learn things like this. Why don't you reach out to the PR agency to see what kind of strategy they'd be willing to do? And Daniel, if you wouldn't mind starting the pitch deck for the Johnson team. Actually, would I would mind. Ashley, don't be wishy-washy with the agency, okay? Just go right up to them and tell them exactly what kind of strategy we know works. And Daniel, don't even bother doing the pitch deck because I already sent it two weeks ago because I knew we were gonna be late getting it together and they've already accepted it and I've already started working on the marketing campaign, so. Any questions? Great. Have a great day, everybody. I'm gonna go back to work. Number four. And uh, before I get any further, I just have to apologize for the way the lighting has changed. But um, when I was filming, there were leaf blowers outside and it was just way too loud. So I needed to change the uh, filming setup and wait a little bit. And yeah, so number four is don't beat around the bush the way the leaf blowers were doing outside. Eights value direct and honest communication, so invite that by directly telling them what is going on. Make eye contact and avoid being ambiguous when you're telling them what's going on. Just be straight and to the point. For example, if I had gone downstairs and said to the leaf blower, hey, I'm filming and I'm, I felt upset that you were blowing your leaves really loudly and I couldn't film and I, I had to wait like an hour for you to go away. 
Uh, that would have been direct and honest communication. I didn't do that, but I should have. Number three, release those endorphins, baby. Encourage your eight to exercise every day. Eights have a lot of intensity, whether that be excess energy, anger, aggressiveness. So it's incredibly helpful for an eight's well-being to exercise regularly. So whether that be including room in your budget for a CrossFit gym or even going on intense hikes with them, Make sure that exercise is part of your life together in some way. Number two, in conflict, eights have zero issue hashing it out the minute conflict presents itself. However, lots of partners like me won't be able to address conflict that directly. They're gonna need time to process. I always need time to process before a hard conversation. Uh, because sometimes you, you just don't know what you're feeling or you don't know what you need, you want to say and eights aren't like that. They can go boom right into conflict resolution. Be communicative with your needs with your eight of like, hey, I know we need to have a discussion. I don't know what I'm feeling. I don't know what I want to say. Give me an hour, okay? And then we're going to come back and we're going to hash it out. But take the time and be communicative with the time that you need to address the conflict. And finally, number one, acknowledge the things that eights do that you appreciate, but try not to cover them in flattery. Eights will interpret that as a bit too much and might even see it as fake. In all things, eights value directness. So do the same with your compliments. They don't need any extra fluff. Want more Enneagram 8 videos? I've got an entire playlist for you in the description down below, as well as more top 10 ways to love each number. Uh, if you have more people that you want to look and see how to love them in your life based on their Enneagram type, or you want to look at your type and see how others should be loving you, all of that is linked in the description down below. And make sure you subscribe to this channel for new videos every week. Thanks for watching. Have a good day.